you won't see cannabis growing in Malaysia, not even non-high-inducing hemp. But it's different for kratom or katum, a stimulant with opioid qualities, though those caught possessing, consuming or selling it face hefty fines or even jail. Despite the risk of legal consequences, many people in rural areas of northern Malaysia grow kutum trees in their gardens and make juice from the leaves. University of Science Malaysia has been studying kutum for more than a decade, focusing on its potential for pain relief and to treat drug addiction. They actually use kutum for many reasons. They use katom to self-treat heroin withdrawal symptoms as well as uh, crystal methamphetamine withdrawal symptoms. You also get to see another group, uh, manual laborers especially. They use it as a stimulant drug to increase work productivity, to enhance physical endurance as well as to overcome fatigue. You also have people with medical um, disorders, like for example, they have diabetic, they have hypertension. So they actually use katom for its therapeutic reasons. Advocates of legalization, including within government, warn Malaysia could lose out to neighbor Thailand on both the medical and economic benefits of katum and cannabis. I am trying hard to legalize. For example, ham and katum. It doesn't bring any harm to the people. It brings good to the people and create income to the rural people. So all the youth in the rural area, they have, don't have to come to the town area to get jobs. Advocates face pushback from law enforcement and laws and regulations will have to be amended to legalize cultivation and use of medical cannabis and katum. I think katum has huge potential, but a lot of research has to be done because at present there's a paucity of information about the scientific or medicinal value of katum. But since far less is known about it than for cannabis, Malaysia has an opportunity to become a global leader in research and development on Kratom or Katum. Ryan Meltzer, CGTN, Penang, Malaysia.